Hi everybody and welcome to today's random album choice where we're going to have a choice of three different albums and Brett is going to choose the one that he wants us to listen to. So Brett if you could share the screen please. Excellent. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, um, Sarah McLaban, McLan, Mirabal, you uh, two, all that you can leave behind, and BTS School Love Affair. And just to be clear, that's School with a K and Love with a L U V. Um, <laughs> I don't know why it's written on it, but including the 115-page photo book and one random photo card. So a very specific album um, from there. Oh, okay. Um, as we mentioned before, I think BTS, massive, massive bands. Um, I, oh, I don't know if I know this Sarah. I don't think that's the same Sarah that I'm thinking of there. Um, you know, we've had a couple of big bands already. I think I'm going to stay with that side of things. And I'm going to go for you too. Um, all day all that you can't leave behind um that's the album i think i'm gonna go for here lee um as i'm very familiar with you two again probably know a lot of their main big hits um i don't know if i know a lot of their sort of back catalogue so this could be a good opportunity to see what's on this particular album from the look and view of it i'm thinking this is it's definitely not their early 80s stuff. Um, I think it's definitely more sort of, I wouldn't say even 80s or 90s, it's probably could be from stuff from the noughties. I think maybe early noughties, but yeah, that's the one I'm going to go for fully. Okay. Um, yeah, I prob probably would have done the same thing. Isn't it pronounced Sarah McLaughlin? Yeah, probably. And I'm sure Just I've heard of her. But I don't know what she sings or anything like that. The opera kind of singer, or like one of those there. But I don't know if that's no, the same one I'm thinking of. Rings a bell. Um, okay, so BTS, the big Korean group, K-pop, and U2. Yeah, so I'm not. I know a bit about U2, not not that much, but obviously a well known. Um, Maybe we'll quickly just check out that album now, All That You Can't Leave Behind, just to see what, what the album's about. Do you recognise any of the songs on there? Um, let's have a look. You two, All That You Can't Leave Behind. Okay, so this was released in the year 2000. And let's have a look at the album. Oh, it's, it's got Beautiful Day on there. It's the first track. Okay. Um, stuck in a moment you can't get out of. Um, so it's quite a, sh well, not quite a standard, standard sized album. It's got 11 tracks on there. Plus there is a UK, Ireland, Australia and Japan bonus track, which I would have thought you'd want us to listen to track 12, The Ground Beneath Her Feet. Yeah, definitely. We'll clip that on there for sure. Yeah, so in total, it's 52 minutes, 49 seconds long. Um, okay. Yeah, I'd say I'm looking forward to listening to that in a way. Yeah, why not? Yes, and then, yeah, so a couple of those, yeah, definitely know those um uh, i don't say too much but i think the yeah, beautiful day well no i, I will probably say because i already quite enjoy that song uh, but it'd be good to listen to it on the album and you know in comparison to what else is is on there really i'm quite looking forward to listening to beautiful day because I, I know i like that song again without trying to give too much away but it's been a long long time since i've heard that it's been quite a few years so it'd be nice to get reacquainted with it and some of the other songs in there as well. Like uh, the second one seems quite familiar. Um, what was it? Yeah. Was it? Like in a moment you can't get out of. So I'm like, nice to listen to that, see what that's about. Um, yeah, could be a, 
yeah, should be good. Um, so there we go. That's the album. Um, what was it? You two, uh, all that you can't leave behind. Okay, so um, I don't think I've got anything more, more to add to that. So you can join us for the review of the album um, this coming Sunday. So thanks for watching and see you guys on Sunday. Goodbye.